Hey Linux Hacksters, today I just wanted to give you a quick tip because it looks like a lot of you guys are actually dual booting Linux and Windows. So uh, when you, you know, when you install Linux, that most distributions, including the one that I like, Ubuntu, uh, comes with a bootloader called Grub. We all know that Linux plays nice with other operating systems, so if you install Windows first and then Linux, when you boot Grub, it will give you a very nice menu with both of your Linux kernel options and Windows listed. Windows, on the other hand, does not play well with others. If you install Windows after installing Linux, it will overwrite and basically play God and automatically loads into Windows every single time pretty much disregarding the fact that you ever installed Ubuntu or whatever distribution you so choose. As you know, I'm an Ubuntu fan, but I would imagine this process would be similar with other distros. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Ubuntu Live CD that I burned, and that's basically just an image of Ubuntu that I can run directly off of the CD. So. Uh, it's really helpful if I'm having problems with the computer and I can't boot into the operating system with a hard drive. So, I use that. So now running off a live CD, I've teleported into the computer and I'm selecting the language I want, which in my case is English. And I'm going to hit enter on try Ubuntu without any change to your computer, which is basically, uh, you know, trying it without installing the operating system. As the operating system loads, I want to go to Accessories and Terminal. And so here's my terminal popping up here. And then I type sudo grub. And then it goes into grub. Find space slash boot slash grub slash stage one. <laughs> Looks like for me, Grub is on hard drive 1, and the hard drive number and partition number will be different for you guys, so just make sure to enter whatever you see once you find it. Then setup space parentheses hd1 parentheses. And then da -da -da -da, that's all, folks. Then you'll just restart, and you'll notice when you restart that all the options will be available to you, including Windows, if you so choose. So thanks for checking me out. I hope you enjoyed the little lesson on learning how to reset up Grub and make Windows play nice with Linux. Check me out next Saturday right here at linuxhackster.net for another Linux quickie. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to contact me at linux at nixiepixel.com. Until then. Catch you later.